One month after the 1992 Mr. Olympia, which according to all reports he won easily, Dorian was back in Gold's Gym during a stop on an exhibition tour. Convinced that the abbreviated system had helped him gain more muscle and win the Mr. Olympia, he asked me for further advice on how he could continue with even greater progress for the 1993 Mr. Olympia. My advice to Dorian was delivered in the form of a challenge, and I quote myself. I don't believe, Dorian, that, the, Dorian, that there has ever been a top bodybuilder that developed to the absolute upper limit allowed by his genetic potential. Why, Dorian? Because none, including myself, had ever fully understood or properly applied the general, the general theory of scientific bodybuilding exercise. If I had made one major mistake years ago while training for competition, it was that despite having been the arch advocate of lesser training, I was still overtraining, i.e. training too long and too frequently. While Arthur Jones contributed enormously to our knowledge with his general theory that exercise must be intense, brief, and infrequent, it is apparent to me now that he wasn't clear in practical application. He had issued what in essence was intended as a surefire prescription for everyone at all times train the entire body three times a week. What I have come to understand much better over the last two years as a result of training and keeping records on over 200 individuals is just how demanding high intensity training really is. I have come to understand that when an individual is training properly, i.e. training intensely enough to stimulate growth and is neither training too long nor too frequently to prevent growth, that he should be witnessing progress if not every single workout, then at least on a very regular basis. The question, Dorian, is how brief and infrequent should exercise be? One